We are oh, they're be ready? Getting into our game one, Dilbert Three, Raptor. I think to take it to town and city. I think this is a great stage for uh, for both characters. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, Rob especially. Rob's gonna get a lot of space to run around, and I mean, Dill's such a, a good player at getting her conversions, and you know, arm rotor is <laughs> arm rotor is a move, so. That's going to be killing quite early on a stage like Town and City. So let's see. Rob's so big. I just. <laughs> I, I can't help but notice it now. They pointed out I, he's humongous. And with that. Oh my gosh. Ooh, all right, though. Raptor actually, gets gyro. In yeah. There. And I mean, I, I think that's an important part of any matchup against. Uh, against Rob is knowing what to do once you get Gyro in hand. Mm -hmm. But a little bit of matchup knowledge right there from Raptor. Raptor was on ledge and double jumped off of it. Any other character, Dill would have caught that arm rotor. But, you know, Yoshi Yoshi has privileges. Yoshi has a little bit of rights as a treat. <laughs> and here we see, like, oh my goodness. Raptor just being very patient with Dill. Oh my, that was great patience. And just... Ooh. Still actually hit the gyro there. Yeah. All right, coming down with laser. Dash attack can be able to punish that down B. Now Raptor's at ledge. I'd like. Uh, I'm excited to see what sort of adaptations we're going to be seeing from Dill. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I, okay. that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for to kill. Completely broke my train of thought. Uh, that uh, what Dill might do to adapt sort of, to this. Yeah, adapt to matchup. especially these uh, you know ledge situations. Mm -hmm. If Yoshi's going to be able to double jump, yeah, you know, out of these you know sort of classic Rob setups of setting down the gyro and waiting for the opponent to just walk into them. Nice, nice use and by Raptor. Continue to, continues to get the gyro. I think uh, actually having the gyro right there was a bit of a disadvantage for Raptor because I think he could have he could have hit Dill with a different move that definitely would have killed like a back air. Uh, but instead it Dill's with the gyro. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Reflector. That's devastating. Back and forth between that and the gyro. Already doing such high percent like more percentage. Yeah, but I mean That's Raptor's keeping it competitive yeah. thus far. Only about a 30% deficit, mm -hmm. which is not a whole lot for Yoshi. But I mean Raptor's not been able to get these sort of combo set uh, starters in a minute and Robbie double jump again, gone yeah. and some maybe not great DI gonna be taking Raptor's second stock. Ooh. I think Dill found the perfect spot to keep uh, Raptor, and that's pretty much near the ledge or off the ledge. Yeah, and that was great spacing yeah. by Raptor, or by Dill to hit Raptor with that laser. Uh, it could have been even worse because Raptor hadn't touched the ground yet. So if Dill was able to get Raptor off stage, that could have been horrible. Looking for maybe a shield poke. Mm -hmm. Nice patience Good by job. Raptor. That is something we see by Dill a lot. Is I, you know, the Dill classic of ho hovering just below ledge yeah. with the the uppy, yeah. and then double jumping with a hitbox to surprise the opponent. We see it so often from Dill. Again, here comes Dill off of the. Oh. Yep. Raptor. Raptor still at the double jump. Yep. 170 though, a lot of things could do it. I honestly think these forward airs that Dill's throwing out could do it at ledge, especially Town and City. But Dill already at 78%. 78. Ooh, up oh. throw should do it? Yep. Yep, Town and City, tall blast zones, not tall enough. Not tall enough for a Yoshi at 180. So now we're out here banning that battlefield and, and Yoshi, Yoshi story, story, as you should. <laughs> Always been Yoshi story. Always been Yoshi story. No, we're kidding. If you like Yoshi story, you have a little bit of rights as a treat. But we're going to run back to PS2. I'm trying to determine maybe if 
That would be beneficial for either player. I think it would be beneficial for Dill. I think it's less good for Dill than Town and City is. Because I think Town and oh, City yeah. is a fantastic rob it's, stage. It's a great rob stage. But out of the ones they banned and the ones that they chose, I think this would be a good stage actually for both players. Because mm -hmm. it gives you a little bit more wiggle room to, to walk around in. And especially for both of their projectiles, Yoshi's Egg and just all of Rob's lasers and gyro. Yeah, Yoshi's got a, you know, a pretty unique uh, aspect of his projectile is that it goes in such an arc that it it'll it can go over a lot of the more standard projectiles, but still hit under the PS2 platforms. Oh, I didn't know that. We're seeing the eggs come out uh, a bit so far from Raptor. Great patience. But Dill gonna be able to laser out a ledge. Or out of the corner rather. Mm -hmm. Taking control of center stage. Oh. And back on Raptor. Oh no, it's back on Dill. <laughs> yeah, no. And here's Dill where right, right she's most comfortable, where she just keeps them off the ledge. But yeah. of course I'll just come able to come right back to it. I think uh, Raptor thus far has been doing a good job of you know, picking his openings when he wants to press forward, mm -hmm. but, you know, Dill has also been pressing forward more than enough, and Raptor now at 172, uh, quite a lot will do it. Good double jump armor. Mm -hmm. A little bit of rights. A little bit of rights. <laughs> a little bit, not too much, a little bit. Ooh, I think Dill Ooh. actually went for the grab there, yeah. but just barely uh, Raptor was able to nair out of it. There we go. There's oh, that's, the Dill that's just a good, a good bait where you, you think that Dill doesn't come on the ledge, and no, she just kills you <laughs> right from the ledge yeah. as a treat. <laughs> Especially if she's able to bait, bait an option out of the opponent. Yep. Just come up with up air, neutral air, gyro, laser, whatever she wants. Rob's got, Rob's got hitboxes for days. Ooh. Oh, this Dill Classic. Now, Raptor hasn't been able to find anything uh, huge in this stock yet, and already Dill has 63% on the board. Ooh, got the late hit oh, in there. Oh, that was great, yep. Danner, I think, is getting close to killing for Raptor, but the neutral air instead is going to be doing it. 80% still on Raptor, still on her fresh second stock. I think just in general, though though Raptor has been playing, you know, patiently and mm -hmm. waiting to pick his openings, the momentum has just been so dill favored for so long. I agree completely. That was a nice uh, fade back there by Raptor, but I mean, Dill was able to catch with the up tilt. Oh, I thought I thought it was gonna happen again, where uh, Raptor gets baited into that that just killing move that Dill always does. Ooh, catches the gyro again. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been able. Okay, a little bit of a conversion. Still fighting off the ledge with the forward air. Raptor is looking for something at this ledge. Just trying to get at least to the back into neutral. There we go, neutral air though. I'm almost at 200% on Raptor. Let me take in that second stock. Yeah, just this is the the, the patience that we've seen from Raptors so far, when Dill's got that gyro on the ground, you know, Raptor's not, Raptor's not holding W, but. Okay. Oh, he's using the gyro against Dill, yep. There we go. Nice down That was B. clean. Last stock on both players right now. Raptor at a little bit of a percent disadvantage, but making it up quick. He's got the gyro in hand. Gonna be able to find too much out of it. Ooh. Oh no, yep. Catches the tech in place. And I mean that was smart by Dill right there, those down tilts caught, you know, 
no tech, they caught tech in place, they caught tech backward, they caught everything except tech in. Ooh. And now do it. The F smash. Gonna be catching that. It's still way. Raptor was on top of Rob. Nah. <laughs> Me, my little. You, you about to see this, this amazing hitbox. Or maybe I imagined it. Ooh. Beautiful. Go back a little bit. My favorite part. <laughs> hey, yo. Beautiful. I mean. <laughs> I'll, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll let it be. It's fine. Definitely a hit. But def he's, he's so big. That's all it is. He's just so big. Yeah, you know, Rob's big. Rob's humongous. There's no reason. <laughs> Rob is literally in real life, like, this big. <laughs> he's so small. I mean, Olimar's like, what? He's like six centimeters tall, I think. I didn't know that. He's a little tiny. <laughs> he's so... So what about the Pikmin? <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right. But... Anyway, looks like we're going to be looking at a caster swap. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been great commentating with you. It was a lot of fun. It's really fun. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad. Like, I love our energy. I know. Lots but of laughs. Anyway, thank you all for watching uh, House 3000. Uh, oh, I didn't talk about it at all. Do the Macherino. Why haven't you done the Macherino? Please. Please. Type Macher exclamation point Macherino in chat while we're gone. Please. While we're switching out, when our when the next casters are back, I want to, I want, I want them to see the Macherino higher than 